on this episode of the Commercial Break. <laughs> so let me take you through what happens. Are you ready? I'm going to go yes. through the text message. <laughs> okay. He says, first of all, here's a, here is here is what you look for. This is how you know that this is coming from India. You are highly welcome because I said thank you very much for including me in this incredible opportunity. He says you're highly welcome because that's the king's English. All right. You are highly welcome. <laughs> Uh, you are highly welcome. This is an onboard. My name is Agent David Lewis. Oh, <laughs> David Lewis from the Social Block Grant Agency. Oh. <laughs> Sounds legit. The Social Block. Social what? Block. Is the Soviet the Soviet Block Union? What? Please kindly give me your full name and email address to check and see if you are eligible to receive this grant. Oh, God. you can just run my so you can just Fingers run my crossed. Email. Come on, Joe. You told me. You promised me. Uh, hey, Joe, by the way, can I just borrow your... Can I just borrow a million dollars from you? If you got a hundred million dollars, can I just borrow a million from you? I promise I'll pay it back. Just, you know where to find me. You know my address. You've been to my house before. And then he calls me and I don't answer the phone. And he says, hello, right? Immediately. This is all happening within seconds. Uh-huh. And I'm like, pushy little fucker, right? <laughs> what do you think? I'm just sitting around waiting for your phone call. I told you my mouth was sewn shut. And I give him the name, David Wasserman. 2302 Lincoln Street in Savannah, Georgia, oh, okay. right? which happens to be a landmark of some sort, some Confederate <laughs> landmark. <laughs> the next episode of The Commercial Break starts now. Oh, yeah. Woo! It's another TCB TV minus exclusive. <laughs> I'm yeah. Brian. This is Chrissy and Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Best and best to you. you. <laughs> best to you <laughs> out to there, you. audience. To you. Mm-hmm. Look at my body. <laughs> Such great and wonderful positive feedback about our Frank Bernardo episode. Everybody loves Frank uh, Bernardo. Maybe. How could you not? How could you not? He is the creep we've all been waiting for. <laughs> He's the asshole we've all been looking for, (laughs) Frank Bernardo. Still no phone call from Frank, though. Mm. I think I might have to reach out to him. I'm afraid, though, if I reach out to him, then it's just going to cause, like, then we can do no more videos because he's going to be like, you know, copyright infringement. (laughs) Look at my videos. (laughs) Smash it. Smash that like button. (laughs) Smash that like subscribe bell. (laughs) Strap that, what? (laughs) Frank Bernardo says, smash that subscribe like bell. (laughs) What is the other thing he says? Crank it up. Crank Let's it crank up. this up. Bust your ass out. That's right. I'm going to bust your ass out because I'm a cheating ninja. Ancient Chinese wisdom passed down for Bernardo to Bernardo. <laughs> Grandpa Bernardo the Third had six cheating wives and he learned some wisdom. He passed it on down. Passed it on down. Mm-hmm. Thank God for all of us. That's right. Did, you, <laughs> did your wife wake up at 9.02 this morning instead of 9.05? Look out. She's cheating. She's cheating on you. <laughs> I, I just have this picture in my head of Frank Bernardo at the window like this. <laughs> I know. It's a cartoon. <laughs> I know. What's your lockout code? <laughs> What's your lockout code? <laughs> get, we just get your met phone yesterday. Where I can, get your phone where I can see it. Put that phone where I can see it. <laughs> Look at my body. I'm not fooling around. <laughs> What's your lockout code? <laughs> it's Frank's going to jail. <laughs> What's your lockout code? <laughs> seven seven two seven. I knew it. You're cheating on me. You changed your lockout code. <laughs> That's I put them on cell phones now, Frank. You know that. Check your jitterbug. <laughs> Check your jitterbug. Frank. Jitterbug. I know. I- <laughs> Frank has so many great videos that we can break down, but I I don't want to become the TCB TV minus Frank, Frank Bernardo yes, of channel. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah, so we'll leave it it's at that. It's just a little treat that gets popped in oh, every my once God. in a while. Yeah, we just have to sprinkle in the treats <laughs> because I don't... It, part of me wants Frank to come on the show yeah. and sit and have a conversation with us, right? Give us some more tips, do some things here on TCB TV minus that we would really enjoy, but we couldn't, we couldn't live like... We couldn't go back and forth live, I think, like we do with the videos. Yes. So we need the videos in order to breathe to and give us some room. And yeah, to comment. stop and start and comment yeah. and stuff like that. Laugh. Yeah. If you want to, <laughs> if you want, you know what? Here's the thing. Chrissy and I have been thinking we could do a Twitch channel where we would do these videos with the visual element because I think there is a part of these videos that need to be seen. Like you have yes. to see Frank Bernardo in order to really get the full effect of who Frank Bernardo is. Yeah, you really do. And so Chrissy and I were thinking we could go Twitch TV, we go Twitch, or we could go Instagram, TV, whatever they call it, IGTV or whatever. Yeah. We could do all of that stuff and then do 
a video to like TCB TV minus for real. Mm-hmm. We could do it. You know, all <laughs> your favorite content somewhere else. Right. <laughs> all your favorite shows. You're looking for not that, here. You're looking for that minus content. Yeah. If you're looking for <laughs> for content that's less useless, guess less useful than you've already used to. <laughs> Come to TCB TV Minus, nice. brought to you by Provocacore 3000 <laughs> and Disney. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, then do us a favor. Hit us a line, smash that like button, and that subscribe bell. And then <laughs> the subscribe bell. <laughs> That's what he said. He goes, smash the subscribe bell. <laughs> Look at my body. <laughs> I just have this impression of him smashing through a window or like a like a like the plate glass window. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at my body. <laughs> You're cheating. And then he, see, he has that like glass stuck all in him. And <laughs> oh, sir, that's going to need stitches. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm a cheating ninja. <laughs> Is it like blood shooting out of his jugular? Right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's okay. If you want to see this kind of content live, Chrissy and I do it live. We do it with the visual aspect of it. Hit us up. Info at yeah, tcbpodcast.com. 470-584-8449 is where you can text or leave us a message. tcbpodcast.com is where you go. You can uh, listen to the entire library. Watch all of the YouTube videos that we've put together, all the clips, all the long videos, everything. It's all available at tcbpodcast.com. Or you can go to youtube.com slash the commercial break. Uh, and hit the subscribe button, like and comment. You know, we get a lot of comments, most of them negative. <laughs> we had another say. we had another guy, <laughs> another young man who was like, This fucking sucks. <laughs> and I was like, Well, your well, your complaint has been lodged with HR, but please be <laughs> yeah. patient as there are many before you. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I feel like when you get engaged with them, then they're like, Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, this can't be such an asshole. Attention. There's real human beings back there. <laughs> It's kind of like how we feel. Sometimes we like we say something on the show and then someone will comment on it and we'll realize that, you know, some 13 year old young man was hurt by something we said about bronies. Bronies, And we're like, oh, sorry about that part. Yeah. No, it's all normal. Don't worry about it. You're perfectly fine. (laughs) Clop away. (laughs) Clop, clop, clop away. (laughs) Clopping, for those of you that don't know, is masturbating to my little ponies. Mm. Just, you know, to get that visual out of your head for the rest of the day. And then at the commercial break on Instagram, you can always DM us there. We promise we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. Got a couple things that I want to talk about today, Chrissy. Oh, a little housekeeping. A little housekeeping. Get it out of the way. We got a lot of clips built up, and so I figure we just go th- run through the computer and get a few of them out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know about these Duggars? Yes, I've heard these of the Duggars. Mother Duggars. <laughs> these Mother Duggars. Duggars. <laughs> this lady got a bunch who of has got a, like a superhuman womb, mm-hmm. and she had 19 children. I think 20, actually. I think Oof. she might. Was she pregnant recently, like after oh the show? Oh, my God. The girls, the ladies, like, I know she must be in her late 40s now, but she's she's been having children since she was 18 years old, and she's got 19 or 20 of wow. them now. <clears throat> just and one the name, a year. Pop them out. Just popping them out left and right. She's always mm-hmm. got another kid on the way. But just like any, you know, large group of human beings you know there's always one loose goose in the bunch yes, right yes. and apparently one of the, loose, the crazy uncle. yeah one of the crazy <laughs> uncle is that's putting it mildly uh, what josh duggar i think his name was josh duggar yeah josh duggar was one of the older children and as you can imagine once you have 20 children there's no way you can parent those children by yourself mm-hmm. you're relying on older children and family members to then parent the younger children that are coming into the family yeah and so josh was by all accounts in charge of some of his sisters well unfortunately for everybody involved it came to light many 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 years later that josh had been molesting Ugh. some of these sisters right Awful. which is just fucking of not i mean it's just obnoxiously oh, painful so to even awful. think about yeah. yeah i mean can you imagine being in a family that large Mm-mm. and then your brother is the one you know he, this whole family is built around the centering the teachings of christ and you know baptist bullshit and all this fucking crap right mm-hmm. they cover up this whole josh duggar thing they bury it basically in the church's deep secrets so now the church the church That's finds healthy. out about it. It's healthy. That's it's completely healthy, healthy yeah, normal church. Really healthy just when to one, bury it. Yeah, one of your congregation members comes to you and says, this guy's been molesting my daughter, right? And you say, ah, we're going to send him to some kind of camp and he'll be better, right? Mm-hmm. We don't tell the press. We don't tell the police. We don't tell anybody. And then it comes out many years later that this has happened when they have a, a, a TV show that is a runaway hit. Mm-hmm. I mean, people loved that show. I even watched it for a couple seasons. I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. You know, what do you do with 20 fucking kids? Right, right. Josh just can't help himself 
Because Josh, a couple of weeks ago, was arrested again. He's been arrested before. Now he's arrested again on child pornography charges. Right? But lest you think that this family has, like, this family is, now it turns out, is all kind of fucked up. Yeah. As you can imagine, Mm -hmm. right? I'm not saying the people that want to have a lot of children are fucked up. I'm just saying, like, these fundamentalist Baptists who are just, you know, uh, playing God themselves. This lady whatever her name is, Marie Antoinette Duggar, whatever the, whatever the <laughs> fuck, whatever the fuck her name is. Yes. She actually, uh, she's is, mother Duggar. She's mother Duggar. Okay. And she's actually extraordinarily just like the rest of the family, anti LGBTQ, mm. as you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Right. So it comes up for a vote in their little township of whatever backwards ass Arkansas that they are going to vote to allow or not allow. Like they're going to put a law in place that people who identify with the opposite sex, cannot use the bathroom of the sex that they identify with, further tormenting them and confusing them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So here's the deal. In order to be a good, upstanding citizen, Marie Antoinette, Mother Duggar, decides that she is going to put together a phone voicemail, an automated dial a, dial a message, where she's going to talk to all of the people, call all of the people in the township, and let them hear the following voicemail. Are you ready for this? Nice. Listen to this okay. sack of horse shit that this woman puts together. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, hold on. I'm not. So okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, hold on. Here it comes. Hello. This is Michelle Dagger. I'm calling to... Hello. This is Michelle Dagger. I'm calling to let you know that I'm no longer on TLC. <laughs> for me of some shocking news... My son has molested my entire family. Oh, my God. That will affect the safety of Northwest Arkansas women and children. The, the, you know what affects the safety of uh, Northwest Arkansas children and women is your son mm-hmm. and your f- fundamentalist views on everything. Mm-hmm. The Fayetteville City Council is voting on an ordinance this Tuesday night that would allow men, yes, I said men, to use women's and girls' restrooms, locker rooms, showers, sleeping areas, and other areas that are designated for females only. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. What a hateful, spiteful bitch you really are. I just got to say that. Mm -hmm. Not fireside content, by the way. (laughs) I don't believe the citizens of Fayetteville would want males with past child predator convictions that claim they are female to have a legal right to enter private areas reserved for women and girls. Now, hold on. Hold on. You have to you have to you have to dissect that sentence a little bit. I don't think that our township would want men with prior sexual convin- convictions against children mm-hmm. to have access what to our private to, spaces. Yeah. Now hold on. Does ever is every person that identifies as trans have some kind of conviction against them? No, in fact you rarely hear about them being interested in child and children. Children because that's not what it's all own, about. They've got other issues. They, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Listen. Number one. Number two, if someone has a conviction against what, sexual violence against whether children, yeah, they, whether they're men or women or identify as men or women or fucking horses, guess yeah. what? You are against, it's against the law to go within 20 feet of, of a child. child. Yeah. So there you go. So now mother you are Duggar. putting those, yeah, Mother Duggar, you're putting those two together so that yeah. you can get people all riled up. Mm-hmm. I doubt that Fayetteville parents would stand for a law that would endanger their daughters or allow them to be traumatized by a man joining them in their private space. I cannot believe what this woman is saying. Yeah, that's bad. Like a man's just sidling up to like a small girl in a ba- in a public bathroom. Think of the I mean, <laughs> think of the fucking absolute bullshit that yeah. she's saying. When she helped cover up the fact that her son was running around molesting children. her own children and receiving child pornography. Yeah, that's bad. The hypocrisy. <laughs> it's insane, Hoadley. Mm-hmm. We should never place the preference of an adult over the safety and innocence of a child. Oh I agree. God. Yeah. <laughs> Parents. Who do you want undressing next to your daughter at the public swimming pool's private changing area? I still believe that. We, oh my Christ, have mercy! We are a society that puts women and children first. Women, young ladies, and little girls deserve to use the restroom in any other women's facility in peace and safety. Uh. Will you speak up for protecting women and children? 
Call 575. We should call this fucking number and yeah, have a conversation with this dumb bitch. Because here's the thing. You are further stereotyping, mm-hmm. traumatizing, and victimizing people who already have it tough a fucking enough. Imagine yeah. being born in the body of the opposite sex. Right. Because that's what's really going on. Yeah. Am I saying that never in the history have ever has someone just decided out of the blue that they wanted to be a man when they were a woman? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't fucking know. Maybe that has happened. But the truth is, is the vast, you've got to believe that the vast majority of people who identify as trans Mm-hmm. Or having a pretty rough wrong. go of it yeah. already, right? Mm-hmm. And they don't care about your fucking daughter. They just want to go in the bathroom and be who they are, not not who got not not what body they got put in, but what yes. they really feel that they are, who they identify with greatly. And the absolute hypocrisy of you calling and talking about the protection of women and children after you let your son run ripshot on your family and Northwest Arkansas is fucking horseshit. It is. It absolutely is. You and Teresa Caputo belong in the same pool of human beings as fucking <laughs> shitheads. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, it's bad. Can you believe this? Mm-mm. Can you believe what's being said here? No, I think we should call that number. We should call that number. We'll call that number and I'll get back to yeah. you. Yeah. I'm going to call that number yeah. and then I am going to get back to you. See what's going down with that number. Speaking of calling numbers, Chrissy, okay. I think you know this, that uh, a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> I decided that uh, well, here's here's how it all went down. I get a phone call, or I get a I get a um, a friend request and Facebook uh-huh. from one, a friend that I know, a, yes. a guy that I know, an older gentleman, but I know him. He's part of kind of like a, an extended family, right? Uh-huh. And is he a crazy uncle? No, he's not. He's, he's <laughs> well, I mean, he's a little bit crazy, but you know, who's not crazy at that age, right? And what by that age, I mean seventy or however old he is. And the guy I know uh, very well decides that he's going to refriend me which kind of doesn't make any sense because I already see that he's a friend of mine and then he's got an exact similar, like a carbon copy page oh. where he's asking to friend me again. Hmm. Now, why would this guy be friending me again? What I could possibly be going on? So I accept the friendship thinking that maybe this older gentleman doesn't understand how Facebook works yeah. and he's deleted the old one and recreated another one because of some problem or trouble or mm-hmm. a new phone got or whatever. Or whatever. Right? Within probably 15 minutes... He says, how are you surviving COVID? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what? I, uh, yeah, I'm surviving just fine. Thank <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> I'm doing just great. Wearing my mask. I'm going surviving. Out public. I'm surviving. Everything's yeah. good. And he responds, great. Have you heard about the COVID relief on International United Workers of, you know, uh, Belt Workers Association or something? And I'm like, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? No. I'm going to call him Joe for the purposes of this conversation. Okay. Like, we are talking about Joe? Right. So I say, no, Joe, I, I haven't. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's a great organization where we've been raising where, where the government gives free money to people who are in need during this crisis. Oh, right. Okay. And I was like, oh, Thanks, sounds Joe. great. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> sounds like a real government organization. United <laughs> Belt Workers of, you know, West Africa. <laughs> I'm like, I don't. What? OK, sure. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. And I, so I so now I'm starting to suspect something yeah. is up, right? This I'm is like, a conversation. Is, nah, this is an, <laughs> How's uh, the family? Yeah. How's what's been happening? No. Hey, just, by the way. Have you so, heard of this government organization? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about three Facebook pages that I'm friending you from. Right. I mean, none of that. Right. And so I but I start to smell something is going on. Mm-hmm. And I have for I want to side note this. I have for many years been really good at sussing out the scammy bullshit, yeah. right? And I don't shy away from it, where most people, I think, would just block the account and say, not going to be part of it, right? Or maybe even take it a little further because they don't understand what's going on. I know what's coming, oh. and I <laughs> decide to play in return. Yes. Touche, my friend. Game on. Let's play. <laughs> so I say, no, Joe, I haven't. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> you can get up to $100 million in this new government program wow. just by filling out some information. Your social security number. Your, yeah, yeah, birth, exactly. your mother's maiden well, name. <laughs> here's a new twist. Yeah. <laughs> your address, your yeah. home phone number, where you're currently standing in your house. Driver's your daughter's social number. security yeah. number. <laughs> your wife's bra size. <laughs> <laughs> your dead dog's name. Nico. <laughs> smell a vision all the passwords yeah, you've all, ever used yeah, every password your password <laughs> to netflix <laughs> your amazon account definitely your credit card numbers for sure give me your, i need your amex number expiration date 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, so I say, oh, tell you know, a hundred million dollars free, you know, no obligation. Free. You just have to give fill out a little bit of information. I'm sending this to you because I know you can probably use it. Well, how did okay. you know, Joe, <laughs> that I could use a hundred million dollars? What uh, what tipped you off? The low ball yeah. or low ball? Yeah. Yeah. Get, call me when they get the two hundred fifty million dollar program. <laughs> Not worth my time. Fill out a little information. <laughs> By the way, if you've ever dealt with a government organization, there's no such thing as a little bit of information, <laughs> right? <laughs> Try and become a citizen of this fucking country. Uh, so I say, ah, uh, yeah, okay, Joe. Uh, d- oh, tell me more. Mm-hmm. How exactly do you get a part of this? You know, what's going on? Yeah. Glad you asked, Brian. Please. Well, old friend. Yeah. Pl- uh, old friend. <laughs> old friend Joe that I've known for many years. You know, I say, I say, he says, he says, <laughs> He says, listen, call this phone number and uh, oh, talk to, you know, John in, a, in accounts. To, and I'm like, John. <laughs> Abu Dhabi or whatever his name. I'm like, you know, yeah. obviously, by the way, most of these scams originate from Africa, West Africa mm-hmm. or India. That's mm-hmm. that's just this was, these are just facts. Right now, they also originate from Russia and Western Europe and Eastern Europe, too. But this kind of scam, mm-hmm. because I know. I know about this because I've done a lot of homework about yeah, it. Yeah, I have too. Really originates mostly in India, mm-hmm. right? Well, it's a money making. It's a money making operation. <laughs> yeah, these guys go is. to work like everybody yep. else. They work for somebody mm-hmm. that somebody pays them. They have commissions. They have targets. They have goals. They're trying to scam you out of money. How they do that is in a myriad of different oh, ways. Oh, so many different ways. But here, let me ex- let me take you through what happens. Okay. So, <laughs> so I Joe. So I give my. I give the phone a fake phone number out that I have set up Did for you just such an occasion. Number? No, uh, <laughs> you should have. <laughs> TCB TV minus. Call me up. I give a fake phone number out that I have set up for just such an occasion. Okay. And I say, you know, call me here. But then when he calls, I text him back and I say, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. My mouth has been sewn shut for the last couple of weeks due to dental surgery. <laughs> But, you know, you know that because you saw my Facebook posts. Right. (laughs) Oh, yes. Of course I do. Right. (laughs) Here's what goes. And I say, thank you. Uh, I say, thank you very much. I desperately need that hundred million right now. (laughs) That's what I said. (laughs) I said, I got to get out of this. I owe big bills for this mouth surgery. That's got my mouth sewn shut. So if you get that hundred million dollars to me tonight and he says, we are. We can deliver we this can immediately. It. Okay. Cash. Sweet. UPS. Joe, right? coming through in a pinch. Joe, thanks, Joe. <laughs> I didn't know government organizations mailed you cash via UPS. They don't even use their own service. Mm-hmm. They don't even use the United States Postal Service. They're going to spring for the UPS. Mm-hmm. Right? They're going to put it in a sealed envelope and yeah. send it to me. $100 million. <laughs> so let me take you through what happens. Are you ready? I'm going to yes. go through the text message. <laughs> okay. He says, first of all, here's a, here is here is what you look for. This is how you know that this is coming from India. You are highly welcome. Because I said, thank you very much for including me in this incredible opportunity. He says, you're highly welcome. Because that's the king's English. All right. You are highly welcome. Uh, you are highly welcome. This is an onboard. My name is Agent David Lewis. Oh, <laughs> David <don't> Lewis. <laughs> from the Social Block Grant Agency. Oh. <laughs> Sounds legit. The social block. There's a block. The Soviet, the Soviet block union. What? Please kindly give me your full name and email address to check and see if you are eligible to receive this grant. Oh, God. you can just run my. So you can just Fingers run my. Fingers crossed. Email. Come on, Joe. You told me. You promised me. Uh, hey, Joe. By the way, can I just borrow your? Can I just borrow a million dollars from you? If you got a hundred million dollars, can I just borrow a million from you? I promise I'll pay it back. You know where to find me. You know my address. You've been to my house before. And then he calls me and I don't answer the phone. And he says, hello. Right. Immediately. This is all happening within seconds. Uh And I'm like, pushy little fucker. Right. (laughs) What do you think? I'm just sitting around waiting for your phone call. Told you my mouth was sewn shut. And I give him the name. David Wasserman. 2302 Lincoln Street in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, right, Which happens to be a landmark of some sort. Some Confederate (laughs) landmark. (laughs) Hold on while I run your verification process. And I say, oh, that's great. Thank you much. He says, who told you about this program? And (laughs) I said, yeah. And I said, oh, my friend Joe, who has an uncle who was on Facebook. And he told me about this program for people like me. 
He told me to text you and wait for a reply. He said that his uncle is a great guy who knows many people about many things. We met at church one time, but I don't know him that well. He owns the deli down the street from my cousin in Indiana. They have great sandwiches. I'm hoping to get some free lunch next time we come. Does this mean I get the money? <laughs> to which he says, congratulations, Mr. David. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> now we're on a first name basis. And now you're David? Yeah. Well, I'm David Wasserman, remember? <laughs> right. Okay. But I'm Mr. David now. Mr. David. Yeah, be yes. proper, please. Mm -hmm. Be respectful. Highly, I, yeah. highly respectful. Highly respectful. He says, you have qualified to receive this SSBG grant monies. <laughs> the social block. <laughs> the monies with an S. <laughs> Money's with an S. It's plural. I'm getting yeah. monies. Good for you. <laughs> to continue with your money grant, you will have to fill out an application form to avoid double claiming so that we can locate your destination and also so the FedEx men won't deliver the money <laughs> to the wrong person. Are you ready to fill out that application form now? <laughs> the FedEx men. Oh, my gosh. This is such wonderful news. We have really been through a tough time lately. I blew up my back playing on a broken jackrabbit. <laughs> And my wife, Sue, is being treated for Bologna. <laughs> she is really sad about that. So we cannot work because the mule is broken. If we do get this money, we'll have enough to buy that finger blast I've always wanted. <laughs> have you ever tried the ranch at Arby's? <laughs> I can send some to you. This is the best day I have ever had. Except that one time, Sally Sue, my stepdaughter, had her first period. We were really excited about that one. What do I do next? We're ready. <laughs> yeah. He says, please fill out your full name, your address. Married or single, do you own a house? Do you want cash or check your occupation and your monthly income? Accurate information is required for an evaluation. We will respect your privacy. And we never sell information to our partners. Who's your partners? You're the U.S. government. All this, all these informations, all these informations must be answered with honesty and sincerity. Okay. You have to be very fast so we can proceed. In very, time. very fast. So we can proceed in time. Do you understand? <laughs> By the way, this is all in capital letters. Uh -huh. And then he, he, he's, and then he texts right away, Mr. David Wasserman, do you understand? <laughs> so I respond that my name, my full name is David McGillicuddy Wasserman, <laughs> the third. <laughs> I, he asked for my address. I say, I gave it already. Just scroll up. He says, how old are you? 61 and a half. <laughs> how many, have you, are you married? I'm married three times, but divorced once. I do have a boyfriend also. <laughs> do you own or rent your home? I own two homes. This one and Nana's home at Taint <laughs> Creek. <laughs> Nana's. How would you like your cash or check? I said cash. We need it now. Tonight, if possible. <laughs> I can meet you wherever. We meet the crystal dealer at Shoney's. <laughs> Occupation. I'm a glory hole tender. I also <laughs> clean the floors at the local Jack Shack. <laughs> How much money do you make? $16,000 a month with my income from the accidents <laughs> of the roof of the Walmart. <laughs> and then he says, you must move fast. And I say, okay, I'm moving as fast as possible. I only have four <laughs> fingers between both hands. <laughs> I can't you must even... <laughs> move fast. <laughs> I only have four fingers between both hands. I can't even wipe properly alone. <laughs> let alone text that fast. Do you have a girlfriend? What do I do next? Where is the money and how does it come? <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? It's the FedEx money. I know. Then he says, FedEx men's. Yeah, <laughs> the FedEx men's. <laughs> he says, thanks for getting back to us. Kindly stay in line with me while I quickly submit all your information into our database. Okay? <laughs> question mark, question mark. Okay? <laughs> oh, I'm not going anywhere. Me and Penny, my pet llama, are right here waiting for your reply. <laughs> And he says, I'm doing it. Okay. And I said, oh, okay. how's your day so far? Where are you working from? It's very late. <laughs> Can you help my mom get money too? She is in need. <laughs> she says, good. These identification numbers benefit and your information. You have to keep this information from people. The FedEx, the <laughs> FedEx, the FedEx will ask you when they come to deliver your winning check. My winning check. Oh. I won the lottery. I thought this is a grant. <laughs> Kindly write it down and keep it safe. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I have such a raging redhead right now. What's next? <laughs> We've got all your information and we're working hard on your winning check. I asked for cash, by the way. Right. <laughs> we just have forwarded your information to the World Bank to get your grant. To the World Bank. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what? <laughs> to get your money prepared for FedEx. <laughs> Wait, it's going to the World Bank and then FedEx is delivering. I don't get it. <laughs> to, where they're going to bring your winning check to the door. 
You will have to choose how much you want to receive from our list below. Are you ready to make your choice? Are you ready? Yes. And I said, I just dripped a little bit of man milk all <laughs> over me. I'm so excited. Have you ever heard of the mu- the movie Double Dong Paradise? <laughs> it's about this nice man who gives his neighbor the stiffy. It's the, it's the action movie you've been looking for. <laughs> I'd be happy to send a copy. Can I have your address to send a card, please? <laughs> so then he sends me a list. Of, of options. Oh. The options are from one to $100 million. <laughs> literally written out like, you know, 100,000, 200,000. It's like 16 pages long. Choose from the amount you wish to claim. Be fast and also include your name for today's delivery. Wait, don't you have already <laughs> have my name for delays delivery? Today's it's three o'clock in the morning. What's going on? Well, when you're dealing with the World Bank, things move quick. Yeah, I know. Things move. You got to, if you don't make your choices now. They've got planes yeah. going back and forth with money. That's going right. All, <laughs> out all FedEx, over. The- <laughs> FedEx planes, planes full of cash. Just, you know. Going it, straight to the he- Facebook right. headquarters. Going to- <laughs> when you work for the SSBG, <laughs> there are a lot of things going on you got to take into consideration. I'm just glad he's dealing with me. Mm-hmm. And I said, listen, I'm ready to make that choice. <laughs> like, I, like I did that one time when I was in band camp and the band director said, you have a choice. Suck me off or fist me later. <laughs> Choose wisely. I said, of course, the fist. I had the smallest hands in the entire band and I knew it would make him happy, but he wasn't happy. He just got mad and told me to put on the ball gag. Well, I showed him. I took that ball gag and attached it to my anus. I showed him. Do you have a favorite ball gag? I collect them. I have a rare 1920 Chinese ball gag worth $120,000. It works like a charm. You want me to try? Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking. <laughs> and so I make the choice $700,000. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to make the payment of $10,000? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You don't want to seem too greedy, right? right? You know, when you're dealing with the, the world, world bank, <laughs> when you're dealing with the SSBG, you want to just got, you got to play it safe, right in the middle. You don't want to make it no, you don't want to be that guy, the squeaky wheel, like give me that hundred million dollars. Where's that FedEx plane landing in my front yard? And the men, yeah, and the men, delivered. the men FedEx, <laughs> the men's FedEx are coming. So he says, "Are you ready to make that payment of ten thousand dollars so you can get your seven hundred thousand dollars delivered today?" And I said, "Oh yes, I am." Do oh, you you've take- got to make a <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you've got to pay ten thousand to this get in. This is how anything. it works. That's mm-hmm. right. This is how it works. That's, they get you so excited. Yeah. Or Granny, so excited about how much if money you. If I could 10, just pay that ten thousand, I can get this. That's right. That's mm-hmm. why they ask how old you are. They want to make sure you're old because they know the older people don't don't don't. Yeah. Don't have the ability to. It's not. It's not that they. There's a lot. And most of them are very smart, but they think that something real is coming down because they yeah. don't understand how the internet works. Mm-hmm. So I, I reply, "Oh yes, I am ready." Do you take <laughs> Diners Club? And he said, "Good. Do you have monies with you now? We are packing your money. Uh, we are packing your money. <laughs> <laughs> They've already been to the World Bank and they're back. And I said, they're packing it. Yeah, right I know. Now. I'm like, again, do you take Diners Club? Telly Savalas is my favorite. He has such a shiny head, but he's the bee's knees. Did you see what I did there? Oh, great. Where do I send it? Where do I send the cash? He says, "Hello. Do you work at Walmart? Do I work at Walmart?" <laughs> He says, just stay calm and be responding stay to my calm. questions. <laughs> yeah, stay calm. Everybody stay calm. You're getting $700,000 from the FedEx men's. I can just see some people like high on crystal, just like running around their apartment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting money. The FedEx men's are coming. I'm getting, I'm getting money. I'm getting money. <laughs> Stay calm. Stay calm and be responding to my questions quickly, as fast as possible. Are you hearing me? That's what he says. I says, no, I don't work at Walmart. I, I said, no, I used to work at the Walmart in Scrote Sack Park, but ne- which is next to the town of Penisville. But I fell off the roof trying to clean cum off the HVAC unit. So I got a $1 million sediment from them. I now work at the library cleaning out the diaper basket. It's a fun job. I meet lots of nice parents. Do you don't? And then, and then he says, what? And I said, no need to be what? rude. No need to be rude. I can hear you just fine. <laughs> I said, how do I get the money? He says, are you ready to make your payment? I said, I told you yes. Now don't make me mad. <laughs> And then he sends me a video of people packing money, like literally a a video, a 16 second video (laughs) of people packaging money. Yeah, you see it? It's on there, right? And then so I said, I feel like you're mad. I know people packaging money for me (laughs) at the World Bank waiting for the FedEx men to show up. 
<laughs> They're packing their monies. <laughs> we're packing. It. We're packing your monies right now. We just need and so that then initial I said, I, yeah. I said, I feel like we're, I feel like we're getting off on the wrong foot. I feel like you're mad at me. How do we repair this relationship? And he says, and then I said, wow, is that the money you're packing for me? And he says, yes, you will have to go to Walmart and get Amex gift cards, gold dots, oh. make sure $10,000 FedEx will use it for gas and delivery fees. <laughs> What are they filling up? A 747? <laughs> Delivery fees and gas. Oh, and I said, you, I said, would you like a picture of me? Because <laughs> now I'm getting ready. I'm putting, yeah. pic- now that he's sending media, I'm like, oh, okay. uh, yeah. so I'm putting pictures of like, you know, uh, huge dicks, you know, uh, porn stars, fat roly poly guys with, you know, whacking off their micro penis. I'm doing a lot. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. So that I know that, you know, because I know I'm ready. I'm like, okay, yeah. this is going to come to a conclusion pretty soon. Well, how can I, how much can I, more could I fake it? But I decided to take it just a little <laughs> bit further. He said, you will have to go to Walmart and get the American Express gift cards. Gold dot. Do you understand Gold that? Gold dot. Gold dot. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I don't means. know what that means either. I said, I can't drive, but my mom can take me. <laughs> can you wait three minutes? I have to get her from the jacuzzi. It's her wine and Vicodin night. <laughs> I said, okay, I got mom. She's going to get, she's going to take me. By the way, you're very pushy. (laughs) (laughs) Stay calm. And he says, your money's been all packed. And I said, okay, we're getting in the car. Which Walmart? The one at Labia's town or Nipples Creek? (laughs) He said, you don't, you can't tell people about this. They will come to rob you. (laughs) Oh no. So now he's trying to protect you. Yes. He's He's looking out for you. He's looking out for me. He's at the world bank. He knows that people are on their way to get me. (laughs) He's just trying to help me out. So I say you can't tell anyone about yeah, this. Yeah, I know you can't tell anybody. Shh, <laughs> cheating ninja secret. <laughs> I'm I'm here I'm here about the cheating ninjas. <laughs> I need ten thousand dollars in American Express gold dot. <laughs> uh, so he says, "Are you on your way to Walmart?" And I said, "I told you, yes, my mom. She's driving me." And he said, "Okay, get back to me when you get the cards." <laughs> And I said, well, my brother Larry's coming. Or excuse me. I said, and Larry's coming. He's my butler. He's letting me borrow the money until the bank opens on Sunday morning. <laughs> and I said, okay, I'm going to be there in five minutes. And he says, snap the card. Send me, snap me a picture of the card before you send it to me, before you purchase it. Okay. And I said, okay, hold on. We're pulling up right now. <laughs> I said, this is exciting. I will have the manager help me because the, the thing they're afraid of is that you're going to get a manager or law enforcement involved, right? Uh-huh, right? Because then they think that there's some way that, you know, Walmart security can figure this out. Yeah. And I know this because I've, <laughs> I know enough about, because th- by the way, this is not the first time I've done this. I've done this yes. many times. So yeah. I understand the gig, right? And he, and I said, this is very exciting. I'm going to have the manager help me since it's so much money. And he says, nope, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they will take your monies. No. Just go to the cards, activate it and text me back. <laughs> And I said, oh, do you think they'll rob me? And he says, you don't have to tell, you, you don't have to tell anybody for your public safety, for your public safety. <laughs> what? And oh, I said, I'm at the government. Yeah. Really? <laughs> uh, that government, they, they, that World Bank, they're helping everybody out these days. It's just giving money to everybody. And I said, okay, I'm at the Walmart. And he said, don't worry. I go, I go, I'm at the Walmart. Don't worry. I'll ask security to watch right. the manager. <laughs> And he says, no, don't tell anybody. Just go pick your cards. Are you at the Walmart? And I said, yes, I told you I'm inside. And he said, send a photo. And I said, I have to get some, I have to get some period pads for my wife. First. <laughs> and he said, hey, just tell the manager you're sending the cards to your family members. That way they won't ask too many questions. Okay. And I said, okay, I got it. It's our little secret. <laughs> and he Stay said, <laughs> as he said send, send me the pictures of Walmart right now. And so I found a picture of Walmart. I found a picture of one of those, you know, the crazy people at Walmart. I found it. And I said, hold on. I don't want to draw attention to myself. And he says, okay. With one of these little hand symbols, like thumbs up. Yeah. Dink. And so I send him a picture of a crazy lady in tights. I'll put this on TCB podcast if I can. Oh my God. Okay. So then I say, this look at this lady she's so funny <laughs> and he says let me know if you are done and i said h i said haha and then he said the monies are ready waiting for your cards and i said okay do you think this lady is drunk is she a mess <laughs> and he said go get your cards go get your <laughs> he's like get up shut up give me your cards okay. and so i sent him a picture of the card rack at walmart okay right? okay. okay so he thinks i'm there yeah <laughs> and i say which card he says look for the ones the american express with the gold dot I said, should I get Starbucks for the FedEx drivers and Chili's for their lunch break? (laughs) He said, no, gold dots. And I said, gold dots. And he says, yes, gold dots. (laughs) 
And I said, okay, I will get extra Chili's ones for him anyway. <laughs> they will be hungry after the long journey. <laughs> Yeah, all the way from the World Bank yeah, to the World Atlanta, Bank. Georgia. Yeah, that's right. He said, oh, you, or you could get eBay or Sephora. And I said, oh, Sephora. eBay to pay for gas. Does BP take eBay cards? <laughs> he says, let me see the cards. And I said, Sephora is awesome. They have the shade of lipstick I like to wear. Shh, it's our little secret. <laughs> I said, okay, Sephora, $10,000 in Sephora. Is that okay for the driver? <laughs> Can you imagine walking up to the Walmart and being like, I'd like to charge this card with ten thousand dollars? Shh <laughs> secret. How much do you want me to put on this card? Ten grand. I know, ten grand. Ten grand. <laughs> Any person that goes to Walmart and asks for ten grand worth of anything. <laughs> So he says, just purchase it. Get back to me. Send me the photo so the, of activation. I said, the lady is asking me why I need $10,000 worth of Sephora cards. I told her my family loves makeup. <laughs> and he says, shh, don't tell her. <laughs> she will know you're, she will be a robber. <laughs> and I said, hold on, I'll take a photo after I leave. I said, okay, you and me, it's a secret mission. Like two guys <laughs> plundering around in the dark, waiting for sparks to fly. I go, this is exciting. I think I'm in love with you. <laughs> I said, my mom wants to know what time the money will get here. And he says, 8 a.m. at your doorstep. Oh, Remember, mine, delivered. It's, yeah, it's Straight delivered. to the door. It's 3 a.m. So, so we've got fast delivery service. And so then he says, are you still activating? Federal government grant money is, is not a loan. <laughs> what? I didn't ask. So I said, oh, yes, there is a problem. She can't ring it up. She is getting the manager. Don't worry. I will tell him it's for my cousin, Larry. He likes makeup. He works in the deli department of the store. He says, again, snap a picture of the place. I said, do you have time to have coffee with me sometime? He says, I am still working. Snap Walmart. And I said, I know got government jobs suck. Don't worry. I'm leaving now. And he says, did you buy the card? I said, yes. Hold on. I'm going to take a picture. I said, are you ready? He says, ASAP. I said, are you ready? He says, now. <laughs> and I send him a picture of a gangbang <laughs> with five men getting jacked off by one really rotund guy. And he says, what is this? <laughs> and I said, oops, wrong picture. <laughs> so then I send him a picture of, <laughs> of Long Dong Silver, the man with the 17 inch penis. And I said, that's the correct picture. And he said, ha ha, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I got him. You did get I, him. Listen, I at you least I, the hook. I wasted one hour yeah. that he would otherwise not be fucking with some old That's So true. I feel better about yeah, You're you never going to know who they are. You need to go work for the government. You're looking out for people. I know. Look at me. <laughs> Doing good. <laughs> now! Get back to me now! <laughs> Call that! <laughs> Sounds like Frank. <laughs> I imagine Frank's voice when I hear that. <laughs> Call that! <laughs> So much fun. Oh, my God. If you have yeah. a great story about you communicating with a scammer, because I know I'm not the only one who does no. this for fun. I'm yeah. sure there are lots of people that do this for fun. <laughs> Let us know. Info at tcbpodcast.com. That's info at tcbpodcast.com. I want to hear your story. Maybe you can come on the commercial break and you can tell that story yeah. because we would just think that would be dandy. We'd have many FedEx men's. Waiting for you here <laughs> to give you many money. special prizes. Bags of money are That's being right. packed. We're packing right. up dollars right now. It's like Ocean's 12 over here. <laughs> We're in a secret vault somewhere in the middle of a locked casino. <laughs> waiting for the FedEx men's. How the are World they gonna, Bank is yeah, funding us. How are they going to get from the World Bank to my house in five hours? I mean, they got to think this out a little bit more, I know, you know? Yeah. Like, I think even my, even my grandma, who's 97 yeah. years old, <laughs> yeah. would probably go, it doesn't make any sense. No. <laughs> right? But then again, maybe not. She watches Judge Judy But it was day. coming from Joe, your trusted source my on trusted, Facebook. Sure, my trusted source. So I had to explain to Joe that it's, you know, somebody <laughs> carbon act. copied. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, well, was the grant real? And I'm like, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> thank God that Joe was the <laughs> fisher and not the fish. <laughs> Right? That's all I got to say. Uh, was the grant real? <laughs> Maybe yeah, they are. Just yes, it was. Great. I just got $700,000 in FedEx this morning. It was one of those little small envelopes. Came to the doors. Yeah. It came to the door. Came to the doors. Mm -hmm. Right to my houses. <laughs> in Savannah. The Robert E. Lee statue in Savannah now is $700,000 richer. I'm sorry. That was a bad choice. I, I just, I wanted to think of an, an address. I wanted to give him Wrigley Field. Yeah. But I figured if it was like so obvious that he wouldn't play along with me. Yeah. So I've done that before and people are like, this is not a real address. You know, go fuck yourself. 
And I'm like, well, I want to get him on the phone. So next time, what I'm going to do is I'll be here in the studio. I'll get him on the phone so we can actually hear the Yeah, back we and should forth definitely fuck around with some of these people. That's right. TCBpodcast.com is where you go. You can read all the show notes, learn more about Chrissy and I, and you can listen to all the episodes, watch all of the YouTube videos. At the commercial break on Instagram, make sure you get us at 470-584-8449. Text us or leave us a message. Tell us about your favorite playing with the scammer story. We'd love to hear more about it. Please like and smash that subscribe <laughs> smash bell. It. Smash it. Smash that subscribe bell or I'm going to bust you out. <laughs> Look at my body. <laughs> Go back. Listen to the Frank Bernardo episode. Yes. They're always a ton of fun. They Frank, are. we love you. I want to say this. Best to you out there. Yes. And best to you, Chrissy. Best to you, Brian. And until next time, I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. The Commercial Break. New episodes on Tuesdays and now Fridays. New YouTube clips drop daily at youtube.com slash the commercial break. Visit tcbpodcast.com for access to our entire media library. Follow us at The Commercial Break on Instagram and join The Commercial Break Club on Clubhouse to join in live recordings. Each episode is written and produced by Brian Green, co-hosted by Chrissy Hoadley, with additional content provided by Tina Cano. 